Hey what's up, I'm Dallas Wade and today we're going to be casting a spell that will make my YouTube channel reach 10,000 subscribers by November 1st. If you've been on the internet for long enough, or if you've spent pretty much any amount of time on YouTube, you're probably already familiar with a website called Fiverr. Fiverr is a place where you can hire very talented people or very brave people to do pretty much anything that you could ever need someone to do. I found out about Fiverr back in like 2016, I think it was, when all of the big YouTubers were making videos where they would hire people from Fiverr to do very creative or very offensive things uh, for the sake of entertainment. Most of it was in good fun, but some of it was controversial to say the least. Me and my friends got a kick out of it. Fiverr, that is. We hired a lot of people on Fiverr to do humorous but harmless stuff for our own YouTube channel that we had at the time, Lucas Brothers. Yeah, Lucas Brothers in the place to be. Hit them on the tube, you know what they do. Recent studies show that by subscribing to the Lucas Brothers on YouTube, it will on average increase your lifespan by 39 years. But after getting some good memes out of it, I realized that Fiverr was more than just an infinite meme generator. It's actually a really useful resource. There are tons of extremely talented people on Fiverr who are willing to work for very affordable prices. Ever since 2016, Fiverr has been one of my go-to sources if I've ever needed any help with some of my own personal creative projects. And this is not an ad, by the way. I'm not sponsored by Fiverr. I'm just just spitting out facts. Now I always have creative projects going on, so I spend a lot of time over on Fiverr. And I also spend a lot of time scrolling through Fiverr and seeing what kind of people are there and what kind of gigs exist there. And what has really caught my attention and what has really piqued my interest more than probably anything else on that website is the massive industry of psychics and witches that exists on Fiverr. There are hundreds if not thousands of clairvoyants, mediums, sorcerers, all kinds of magical and mystical people who have gigs where you can hire them to do almost anything for as little as five dollars and by almost anything I pretty much mean literally anything. Now of course most of the gigs that they have are things where they promise to um, to get rid of negative energy from your life or send positive vibrations into your home or realign your chakras. I just roll my eyes at most of that stuff because how are you going to prove that someone didn't strengthen your soul or remove some generational curse or send positive energy into your family? Right? Like all that stuff is unverifiable. It's unfalsifiable. It's also unremarkable, or at least to me, a skeptic it is. The thing that piques my interest though, is that some of these Fiverr witches, a lot of these Fiverr witches have gigs where they promise to do seemingly impossible things. Some of these Fiverr witches have gigs where they promise that they can cast a spell that will make your ex-lover return and fall back in love with you. Or they have gigs where they promise to cast a spell that will make your bullies stop bullying you. Everyone, we have an announcement to make. Stop. And a popular gig that a lot of these Fiverr witches have is they, they promise that they can cast a spell that will make you sexy and attractive. I don't need that obviously, but when I look at these gigs, I just think, how the freaking heck can they promise to do things like that? Like, there's no way that they can actually deliver on these promises. You would think that when you go to these gigs, they would be bombarded with negative, you know, one-star reviews from people complaining about the spells not working and complaining about being ripped off of their money, but that's not the case. A lot of these gigs, like a lot of these gigs, have dozens, if not hundreds of positive reviews from people thanking the witches for the spells working. <laughs> it just blows my mind, you know, and it, and it makes me very, very curious. Do these Fiverr witches actually have the power to deliver on these extraordinary promises? So I want to investigate this for myself. So I hired three different Fiverr witches, all of which had gigs where they promised to cast a custom spell that would make whatever you want to happen happen. And I know exactly what I want to make happen. I want my YouTube channel to reach 1000 subscribers by November 1st. The problem with that, however, is that's something I believe I can make happen on my own if I work really hard. So there's no magic required there. So I got to go bigger. What I want these Fiverr witches to do is cast a spell for me to reach 10 
thousand subscribers by November 1st. That would truly be magical. So this is the request that I sent to all three of these Fiverr witches. Hello, my name is Dallas Sagan Wade. I was born on August 30th, 1995 in Bugtussle, Alabama. I have a YouTube channel which currently has a little over 700 subscribers, but I would like to reach 10,000 subscribers by November 1st of this year. I'm going to try very hard to make that happen, but I would also like a spell cast to ensure that it does. If you could do this for me, I would be immensely grateful. Thank you. Two of the three spells cost me $5, and one of them cost me $10, so I have $20 invested in this. I'm hoping that three spells will be enough to make this happen. I know that it's possible that one spell will fizzle, and potentially two of them, but at least one spell has to pull through, right? Maybe the $10 one? I don't know. Within 48 hours of ordering the spells, all three of my Fiverr witches confirmed that they had cast their spells. The first one to deliver was one of the $5 orders. They said, Dear Dallas, I have cast the spell successfully and also prayed for you. I have cast the spell to make you gain subscribers to your YouTube channel. The spell will make you gain subscribers quickly and you will reach 10,000 subscribers of your YouTube channel by November 1st of this year. Keep working hard on it and I see you being able to achieve this goal. I will keep you in my prayers, Dallas. Glad to be of service. Sweet serenity. I'm not sure if the prayers are to help me reach 10,000 subscribers or if this person went and saw my YouTube channel and now they're praying to save my soul. But either way, I guess it's a nice bonus that they're throwing in. So, you know, it's all good. The next spell to be delivered was the $10 order, and all they said was, Hello, I just rounded off the spells. A kind gesture of leaving a review would be so much appreciated. Thank you, Luna. Out of all of the responses, this person put in the least amount of effort, and they were the one that charged $10. Maybe their spell was worth the $10, but their response definitely wasn't. The last person to contact me was another one of the $5 orders, but they didn't deliver yet. They sent me a message saying, your spell is complete, but please follow these instructions to complete the spell process. Write your name on a white paper along with Asatoa, Ma, Sadgamaya, Tamaso, Yotur, Gamaya, Ritorma, Rudrav, Drishti, Jut, Pura, Gor, Rupini, Swaha, and then burn the paper with candle. Ashes of the paper should be flown into any kind of running water. Message me when you are done, dear, so I can finalize the spell from your side. Side. So I tried looking up what this um, Fiverr witch was wanting me to write down on a piece of paper and literally nothing on the internet could translate it. Everything I tried to do just led to completely dead ends, um, dead horses even. I have no idea what I wrote down on that piece of paper. Um, the internet doesn't even know what I wrote down on that piece of paper. But it does look like it's some kind of, um, um, it's, it's Marathi I think is what the language is, but it's not perfect either but it's it's somewhere close to that. I know that it's it's somehow related to to um, Hindu mythology because a lot of the things that I was getting, nothing exact, but the things I was getting were definitely somehow related to Lord Shiva and the Hindu gods and, and the Hindu texts, the Vedas, but but I, I literally couldn't find um, an actual translation or, or any reference to any of these uh, any of these sentences anywhere. I have no idea what what this uh, witch sent me but I, I did what I was told and I wrote it down and I went along with everything I grabbed a pen and a piece of paper and I walked outside I think it was around 10 p.m. it was pretty dark I lit some candles and some incense to you know set that mystical magical mood and then I sat down and I wrote my name on the piece of paper and then I wrote um whatever it is that I wrote I still have no idea what it was but I wrote it because that's what the Fiverr Witch told me to do. And if a Fiverr Witch ever tells you to do something, that's exactly what you should do. After I finished writing everything down, I burned the paper with a candle and I kept the ashes on a little baking pan. It was pretty late so I didn't feel like driving down to any nearby creeks or rivers or lakes. So I just went into my personal bathroom and I, I set the candles around the sink and I turned the sink on. I let the sink fill up with water. So then lastly, I dumped the ashes from the paper into the sink and they flowed down the drain with the running water. 
So now that I've completed my side of that last spell, all three spells are complete, and now it's just a matter of waiting and seeing if they actually work. Can the Fiverr Witches deliver on their promises? Will I reach 10,000 subscribers by November 1st? If I do reach 10,000 subscribers by November 1st, I will personally donate $100 to each one of these Fiverr Witches, and I'll make an elaborate video where I do that, and I give them all big shout outs. Whether their spells have anything to do with my subscriber count on November 1st or not, they still deserve the exposure. But if I don't reach 10,000 subscribers by November 1st, I will personally personally send each one of these fiber witches a crying face emoji because because that's what they deserve if you'd like to help these fiber witches spells come into fruition you can start by liking this video and subscribing if you're not subscribed and activate the little bell icon so you can be notified whenever i upload future videos and probably the best thing you can do is share this video or other videos of mine on your social media or with your friends if you think they'd enjoy them and if you'd like to help support my channel financially you can do that over on patreon where you can donate as little as one dollar a month and if you do that if you become a patron you will have your name immortalized in the credits of all of the videos that you help support so anyway uh thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one